All right, now what I'm going to do while the rest of the stuff is clamped up here, just because uh, nothing's going to be bothering the headstock and it might as well dry at the same time so I can cut it out, I'm going to take this piece of walnut veneer that I've got and I'm going to lay it on top of the headstock here and I'm going to butt it right up to my fingerboard and I'm going to go ahead and glue that. Now what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to use some gluing calls or clamping calls, there's a lot of different names here but that's just going to help me distribute the force a little bit I got about five or six clamps left I'm going to put on a couple of these across and I'm actually going to try to grab one big block that will fit right on here really really nice so it flattens everything out I'm going to coat the bottom of it with wax paper so that way it doesn't stick and I'll be able to put it on there, clamp the living daylights out of it, making sure I catch all my corners and it'll flatten everything down really nice on top of here I'll give you an example of what that looks like if this piece for example was the call I'd put it on right like this like a sandwich and I would start clamping here and here what it's going to do is it's going to make sure that veneer is nice and flat on the headstock that'll also give me a little bit of continuity too the headstock is made out of four pieces it looks a little ugly so you put a piece of veneer on there and it looks really really nice so I'm going to go ahead and cut out a call that will fit this wrap it in wax paper get a good layer of glue on here a little on here get it on make sure there's no spots that are missing with the glue because when you cut this profile you'll notice them I'll put the call on put some clamps on there and that'll be nice and clamped down and good to go now we're all set up I've got the wax paper I've got a perfectly fitting clamping call right there and I've got my veneer so what I'm going to do right now is just going to put a good layer of glue on this headstock piece and I'm just going to do a little extra on here so I don't have to worry as much about the veneer I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to use my God given glue spreader here. Try to get that spread out really nice. I want to come up to the fretboard because that's going to roll right into it there. I just don't want to get glue on the end of the fretboard, and I did get just a little on there. So it's helpful when you're gluing stuff to keep a wet rag around because that'll help you wipe that stuff off. So we've got a really good layer of glue. And now I'm going to come back and just get that little bit off the edge of the fretboard. I'm going to have to do a little sanding on here anyway, so if a little's on there, it's not going to kill anything. But So I'm going to take my veneer, park it right up against the edge of the fretboard like that, give it a little slide, and make sure the glue is kind of distributed on there really good. So again, I'm going to butt it right up to the edge of my fretboard, make sure it stays there. I'm going to take a sheet of wax paper. Cover this. Put a little glue over on there. You watch with the wax paper. So I get my wax paper going on there. Butt it up nice and close. A little glue on the top isn't going to kill you. You're going to wind up moving it anyway. You wind up sanding a little bit anyway, so I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get really, really close because I've got another little clamping call in here, where the I, I know it's hard to see, but I got another little clamping call that's in here because there's actually just a little bit of a bend over from the face of the neck to the edge of the fretboard, just a tiny, tiny one. So what I'm gonna wind up doing is putting another clamping call in there that holds that down. So I'm just gonna take a couple of bar clamps. guys on. Again, go kind of loose at first. Kind of a little bit loose at first and just to make sure everything stays on there straight. And then you can kind of come back down with more clamping pressure at the end. Alright, so I got these on there. Looks like it's pretty even. Give it a little bit of a little bit of pressure here. And I'm 
hanging over by just a shade, but it's not the end of the world. Now I'm going to come back and throw some of these guys on, just to make sure that that, again, the pressure from the call is distributed evenly. Because again, with veneer especially, if there's a gap, the veneer is so thin that if there's a gap, it's going to be really, really obvious. So it's best just to get a lot of clamps on there, even if you use a few extra, you know, it really doesn't matter. So now what I've got is my other little clamping call that's going to hold this guy down right here. And we'll go ahead and put that on and get it all clamped up.